Ah, nah, 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 bro. Y'all need to chase, bro. Oh, don't chase. You know what you chase is money, bro. And then what you do is you source, bro. Don't chase women, but source. And then what you do, bro, since I'm fake game guy running, what you do, bro, is you get your bro tune and you breathe through your mouth, bro. That's what you do. It Make sure that you confuse everybody. Make sure that you make everything real confusing. Don't chase, bro, but source, bro. Chase money, bro. Don't chase women, bro. But source and get your game up because you're a bum if you're a broke loser. Blah, 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 blah. Bro, mm, Don't smell the roses, bro, with all the bees around. What's wrong with you, bro? You put all these little Kayleys in your video, bro, but you never approach them. I think you're scared, bro. Oh, the game guys just don't stop, do they? They just, they just keep hammering you guys. So my legionnaires, aren't you getting sick and tired I'm listening to this crap because I sure as hell am. Everywhere you go, it's always. Ugh. They keep selling you guys the dream. They keep selling. You want to know what's really funny about all this chasing? And by the way, I don't care which way you repackage it, Mr. Dating Coach, Mr. Red Pill, Mr. This and That. I don't care which way you re repackage it. You guys are all telling the same lie. Yes, I'm calling you guys out because I'm sick and tired of it. Oh, you know, you need to source. You need to do. You need to. I don't need to do a mother effing thing and neither, neither do my legionnaires because we've earned better. My legionnaires have earned better than what you've got. All right. You've got nothing. You've got stretch marked riddled AWs. You've got single moms. You've got, you've got people that tell you you need to be a billionaire and a trillionaire, and yet you keep going to bat for them. That's your problem, son, not our problem. We're already checked the F out. Good night, goodbye, sayonara. You want to know what's really funny to my legionnaires? Not one bit of this nonsense do you need to do overseas. Not one little bit. You know what's really sad? Even Jose right there, even Jose, he gets a woman who treats him with respect when he goes home. And you guys put up with the crap over here. I keep shouting, so I got to go to new places so people don't call the neighborhood watch because my blood pressure is going up. You keep pushing this effing net. We're all the game is over. We go overseas, we don't have to deal with this crap. And you want to know what's really funny? The thing that's going to put the, it's the little cherry on top. Not only do you not have to deal with any of this crap, because the women are already happy. They are already feeling good. Not only are they sending you this happiness, but you can just be a normal, average guy with zero gain. Zero headaches. Comparatively. You don't have to deal with any of this crap, guys. I know they tempt you back with milk and honey. They, oh yeah, I'm the bubble. I would never do that. I know they do this crap. I would never divorce you. I would never. Bait and switch. Left and right. Bait and switch is always in play. I know they do this stuff. That's why you guys watch my evil ways that AWs manipulate. I know that's why you do it. Because you still hold out hope. I know that's why some of you guys are still holding out hope. Because you don't want to put in any work. Now, what I'm getting at is going overseas in itself is enough work. Do you see what I'm saying? <sighs> I know, guys. There's no easy solution. I wish there was, but there are none. The bottom line is, if you want quality, you're going to get TFWs. Overseas, not here. Eventually, eventually with mass immigration, you will be able to get them here with better laws, etc. But it's probably not going to be in your lifetime. Not in my lifetime, for sure. The laws just don't work fast enough. So if you bring them here, you're taking a massive risk. If you date any woman in the States, you are taking a risk. Chasing American women is not very bright. 
And by the way, to all my American girls out there who do want to settle down, who do want a good man, et cetera, et cetera, you want to go TradCon, you want to do all this, I know where you're coming from. You've been lied to, too, as well. From the little dating coaches, from society, from all these marketing companies, I get it. I know where you're at. In fact, guys, I meet K-Leafs all the time. Happy little bubbly ones. They just want to settle down. A lot of them don't want to work. They're very, very feminine, et cetera, et cetera. But it really is irrelevant because society tells them otherwise. You see what I'm saying? <sighs> Jeez Louise. I'm so tired of these. The, the, every time in my feed, I get another red pill dating coach or, you know, he has a discussion. And then, oh, the, the, the three or fours are delusional. Well, well, duh. You guys are still talking to them. You're still chasing them. You're sending them a mixed message. That's what you're doing, dummy. You're part of the problem. Every time you sit down with them and have a discussion. Oh, we're going to discuss a topic tonight. Oh, you're delusional. You're not a 10. Now I'm going to do a reaction. This old man is... Poor old man. This old man is just looking at me like I'm, I'm shouting and it's... Every time you do these, every time you do these streams, what happens? You're, you're telling the woman that she still has a chance, you dumb mother effer. You guys really don't, for all your red pillness, and I, I'm going to call out all these red pill, fake red pill, all, all, all the pills. I'm tired of, I don't even want to hear about the pills anymore. Oh, he's, he's this pill. All of your pills mean nothing. All right. I'm tired of hearing it because you're sending an effing mixed message. I should run for this light. That's what you're doing. Because you guys really don't understand how women operate. You don't understand every time you speak to a woman, you are giving her the go ahead that she is correct. Does that get into your little Mr. Pill brain? Mr. I'm a pill. We're, we do kombucha over here. <laughs> we do water, all right? Jeez Louise, 80 different pills. Well, you're on black pill. Get, you don't even know what the... You're like a little kid, like a little fat kid in a dune buggy. Bouncing all over the place. You don't even know what the hell... <sighs> all right, let's start over. No, let's not. I'm really sick and tired of these guys. Complaining. What? This channel, as I've said from the get go, this is a place for guys to actually share their stories. That's perfectly fine. Share your story. Tell me about how you've been through it. Tell me about how, what you've done, how bad it's been. You got effed over. Now what you're going to do after that is you're going to take some action therapy, son. You're going to take some action because you took one, one action that you did already is you started, you started to explain your situation. Now the next step, you explained the result of your, you know, bad decision. Okay. Now the next stage of that is to take action to figure out why you did it. And then the next stage in action therapy is going to be actually doing things that are going to negate all of your mother effing problems. And I bet you five bucks, the first problem for a lot of you guys that are depressed and you're upset is sitting on that mother effing phone all day swiping, sitting on that goddamn phone every day on social media, not getting out into the real mother effing world where people are where you can actually interact, you freaking, you freaking recluse, you goddamn hermit. Yeah, you guys need a wake up call. I'm tired of these mother effing, oh, my rib, oh, my pill. You could shove your pills way up, you know what? I'm probably gonna get a yellow dollar sign for this video too. Guys, whenever I go off and go nuts, you know, I just get a yellow dollar sign. I don't get any money on these freaking streams. It's my own fault. Pills. I'm a pill. You're an idiot. 
this is why I've never, I don't like to box myself in. I, I just don't like to box myself in with the, all these different, I, I, I get some of their points. I get it. But you t each, every side takes it too far. So what the heck? Okay. Stop chasing American women. Just stop it. Why do you keep, why do you keep chasing American women? Why do you feel the need to date them? What is your problem? And then in the same breath, you complain about them. You're a hypocrite. It's that simple. If I have, if I date an American woman, if I have an American sugar baby, I'm part of the problem. If I hook up with an American woman, I'm part of the problem. You get it? It's that simple. And I've done all those things. I have done all of those things, okay? Just like you. It all affirms what they believe, which is guys don't have the willpower to actually stop chasing them. Ouch. They just don't. Because they don't believe in themselves. Ouch. Ouch. They don't have the self-esteem to say, I've had enough of all this nonsense. Guys, you see, I look at all the little Kayleys. They're fantastic. I look. The little Kayleys bouncing around in every effing video. I told you, summertime's crazy. They're everywhere. They come up to me. They say, oh, can I be in your video? And oh, can I, uh, can I subscribe? Sure. But I'm not dating them. I'm not hooking up with them. No sugar babies. None of that type of stuff. You want to know why? Because I have to practice what I preach, number one. And number two, it doesn't help the situation much. <sighs> now, will I ever go back to it? Highly unlikely. <laughs> I mean, not my, guys, it, it just doesn't make any sense. And if I do go back to it, I'm not going to go ahead and complain about it. Do you see what I'm saying? doesn't make any effing sense. <sighs> this young man. I'm disturbing this young man. <laughs> Poor kid. I'm shouting at the top of my lungs while going to the beach. Dude, why do you get all bent out of shape, bro? You get all bent out of shape, bro. Because I'm tired of listening to this crap. It's friggin' annoying. Hypocritical nonsense. Oh, but you should better yourself, bro. For what? Here, let me give you an example to all you geniuses out there, to all you brainiacs. When I went to Europe, do you think girls were asking my freaking what I did for a living? Do you think girls were asking, especially the Eastern European girls, they, didn't, they couldn't care less. Do you think girls were coming up to me and giving me a hard time? You know what they were doing? They were like, oh, would you like a piece of bread? It's delicious. Zdenka and Cassandra from Slovenia. <laughs> Did I have to chase any of them? Of course not, guys. You don't have to chase. And especially, why are you guys chasing ones and twos and threes? What the hell is the matter with you? And then in the same breath, you're complaining. <laughs> you guys are the biggest, you guys are as big a hypocrites as they are. And you wonder, oh, they, they're delusional. Well, look in the mirror, a-hole. You're the one affirming this. Oh, my Lord. I'm just so sick and tired of it, man. Every goddamn, every one of these sons of bitches. Now, I, in the beginning, I was like, okay, I get it. But now you take a look at the big picture. These guys are just as bad. These guys are just as bad. And it's unacceptable. <laughs> it's just, and my, by the way, it is gorgeous out today. I finally got out. I've been working since the early morning. Woke up early. Got a couple things done. Had a conference call. Got some funding. <sighs> Man. And then I just see all these knuckleheads. Same crap. Same crap over and over again. Lord of mercy. And then on one stream, this girl goes, oh, I want a trillionaire. Well, what do you guys expect? 
She's literally being reaffirmed every day by you guys that keep dating and hooking up. <laughs> that even talk to them. You keep saying it's all the simps. It's not all the simps. And by the way, I've ripped simps on this channel too as well. I believe they're a big problem. But unfortunately, what you guys don't understand is you are simping as well. And you don't even know it, Mr. I'm not a simp. And by the way, I've done it too as well. Guys, do you understand that even me having these little Kayleys come up to me and little Kayleys <laughs> and they say hello, even me even looking at them technically is simping. You want to know what? Oh, there's three of them up there. Wow. Oh, that girl. My peripherals are sharp. These girls are very pretty. Oh, cow. There's three very pretty ones right there. I get it. But even me saying hello to them, you're, you're affirming their beliefs. You're raising their self-esteem. See, what you guys have never experienced, a lot of you guys, you haven't been over seas. You haven't been to the Latin countries, to the European countries, to Asia. The only continent I haven't been to, well, I've been to three, three continents? One, two, three. Oh! Thank you. I got it. <laughs> there it is. Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> Thank you. See, people are nice out here. See, now I feel better. He's trying to show me something. <laughs> Baby boomers are funny. Anyway, here I am going off about... Guys, when you go overseas, when you go to the other continents, you're not going to get the type of treatment you think you're going to get. There is no reason... You, here's what's so crazy. Okay, you don't even pay attention. You don't have to pay attention to any of them because they are not out of whack up here. They don't have an inflated sense of self. So for example, if I even speak to a Kaylee over here, technically in this environment, it would be considered simping. Okay. Do you get it? Because they're already, their egos are already through the roof. In fact, your attention here, your sanity, your time, your energy, attention, money are more important over here in the West than in anywhere else in the world because they do not value it. You get what I'm saying? But when you go overseas, it's very valued. My little Asian nuggets, when I went to China, when I went to Macau, when I went to Hong Kong, they valued my time. They were always very aware that they didn't want to use my time. Do you guys get it? There's no chasing. What was it, her name? Little Chung? Chung something. She was adorable. Guys, yeah, she was she was cute. And by the way, I have high, high standards. And she's just, just the most adorable little thing with her little white shoes. <laughs> she, was a, she was so cute. And she was in shape and pretty. I am a presenter. It is like a news anchor in America. She was absolutely adorable. But what am I getting at? She was very respectful. My, I do not want to take too much of your time. I know you are busy. But I will take you out today. And I've told you guys many times. We've talked about this. She paid for all my freaking meals. I didn't spend a dime when I was out her, with her. She spent it on me. Why? Because they want to take care of you. They want to respect you. It's a different mentality. You're a nice car. <clears throat> so, I gotta calm down. My heart, my blood pressure is really high. <laughs> I'm just feeling it right now, guys. I just wanna, I wanna tear it. I wanna do a lot of things. My testosterone's up. <laughs> I've been lifting heavy. <clears throat> Getting some muscles finally. Holy cow, the beach is packed. All right, maybe I'll calm down in a minute. Maybe I'll see some little Kayleys and feel better. It's just, it's just I get annoyed, man. Both sides are so hypocritical. They're really obnoxious. <laughs> it's like, come on, man. We really need to, we need to do better on both sides. Myself included, guys. That's another reason why I just went into monk mode. I said I've had enough. Guys, it's been almost nine months. Officially, uh, seven and a half months.
unofficial about nine months you know what i mean so she's louise always with the with the mix mix each side is lying to each side and trying to to scam each side the girls are trying to scam the guys the guys are trying to scam the girls and it's not working that's the whole point none of your tactics for either side are working so what are you guys going to do you're going to keep following all these dating coach gurus well hey enjoy that enjoy having to make seven million dollars a year just to get somebody who's used and ran through that sounds spectacular i mean this is just nuts and then you've got here's the worst part of all of them they keep saying not all you guys are using the exact same bs the exact same bs that the ladies are using you're just as delusional not all well not all men are that way it's not all women get it get out of my face oh man this kid is i mean seriously man it's getting on my nerves why do you have to walk so slowly so Yeah, it just gets on my nerves, guys. I'm, I'm kind of tired of oh listening God. to all this nonsense. You know? I know. Oh, how did you get in my video? Damn it. Wasn't quick enough, guys. <laughs> Wasn't that quick enough. She got in my... She she popped in, you know? So. But yeah, I'm kind of getting tired of it. Trying to get... Never get... Eight. Can't leave. Can't leave. <laughs> We're just in on the... We're on the sand. We're having Man, it is nice out. It is so spectacular. A plus. I wish I'd gotten that a little bit earlier, but I just had, had too much work to do. So, to all you guys that are told to source, that are told to run game, that are told to run do all this stuff, don't spend any money. Again, you guys are scamming both sides. You're trying to scam the scammers. And all you're doing is making things worse, not only for everybody, but for yourself. Because in the long run, oh man, <sighs> two Rosalind pork bellies and they're in bikinis. I'm going to throw up. Oh my God. I need action therapy right now. My action therapy is going to be shut this stream off and dunk my head into somewhere so I can't see anymore because my eyes hurt from seeing all the fatties out here. Ooh. The guys you don't want to see. And right when they walk by, I said fatties. Oh. Oh. Anyway. <sighs> Just a little frustrating, guys. Just a little frustrating hearing all these knuckleheads. <laughs> well, we're fixing things. Oh, submit to oh. these goofballs. I'm pretty much over these goofballs. I'm sick and tired of hearing their mixed messages. And here's the funniest part. They're not only sending you guys mixed messages. They're sending the AW's mixed messages. Because all they're doing is just browbeating the crap out of them. Sending them off. And now they're just as confused as when they came in. <laughs> you know what I mean? Look at her. Everybody's playing some sort of volleyball. Hanging out. I like it. <sighs> Lord have mercy. I need to calm down. Action therapy. Lord have mercy. The action therapy. The first action is to get effing something else going on in your life that is not prioritizing women. Yeah, the mixed messages, man. I'm just getting over it, guys. Tired of hearing it. It's time for guys to get to on their purpose. Yes! Period. Because when you're on your purpose, what happens? You're focused now. You're focused on something that can actually give you a return on investment. You know what I mean? Like you'll hear these guys get all upset about men getting on OnlyFans. Who cares? How is that different than prawn? I, I, you guys are real hypocrites. I'm telling you, you red pill guys. You're starting to get on my nerves, Mr. Hardcore Red Pill. <laughs> it's really getting on my nerves. Because you're not. 
yeah. okay, so prawn is okay, but OF is not. Look at this little let here. It's been running for a while now. How is prawn any different than OnlyFans? Why? Because you're paying somebody directly? And by the way, I don't even have an OnlyFans account. I've never paid for it. But you guys really need to get your stuff straight. You love to just pick and choose where, you know, you, can, you get to pick and choose uh, your arguments. Which part of the argument you like? You're acting the same as the AWs. This girl's tough as hell. Look at her go. She's going back running again. I'm proud of her. Her form is absolutely atrocious. She's in shape, dude. Look at her go. Focused. She came all the way from, from, over, from behind me. Good lord, she needs some core work. <laughs> Looks like she's about to fall over. Anyway. What a beast. Nothing but respect. I respect anybody who has that type of work ethic, man. She's determined. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, only fans. Oh, sipping. Ugh. Guys, you're all sipping. We all are. Period. Even me with my little Kaylee's in these freaking videos. If you really want to get technical. Kayleaf. <laughs> Kayleaf. Having fun. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna get off this one. I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a chill pill. Take a chill pill. Action therapy, getting off the phone. Getting out of delusion and fantasy and start getting into the real effing world. Mr. My Life Stinks, Mr. Depression. I don't have time to be depressed. I'm too busy doing things, getting things done. Well, I had this one, I have this one subscriber and he's like, man, I don't even have the energy to, to get up. He's that depressed. He's like, he's like, I only have the energy to do one thing throughout the day. Well, you better toughen up, you son of a bitch. You better figure out what your real problem is. What is stopping you? Why can you not take action? Over here on this channel, we take action. Why can you not take action? What is your major impediment? What is the blockade in your way? You need to answer these questions. You need to start asking yourself questions, guys. That's how you get things done. The way that you get things done is asking yourself the question and getting to the root cause of your problem. This is action therapy. This is how you win in life. It's also how you lose. You lose and then you win. You lose and then you win. Jeez Louise. Freaking date. And the date, oh my God, the dating coach. You want to know what's really sad? You want to know what's really sad out of all of this? And you guys are going to scratch your head on this one. The women dating coaches actually make the most sense. And they're all gone for the most part. The women dating coaches, at least, at least, they're attempting to matchmake and get people on the same level and all this other stuff. For real. And I've had them reach out to me. Matchmakers. Many times. Many, 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 many times. Matchmakers. I know that may make you guys go, huh? Yeah, they actually are actually sane. They want to meet, they want to match a guy and a girl up on essentially the same level. So you can take it as you, as you, and by the way, they went out of business real fast. Most of them. Why? Because the girls are too crazy. Yeah, that's part of it. But it's also because guys have inflated these women's egos and other women lying to each other. Both si guys, both sides are account and need to be held accountable, not just the ladies. And I know you guys are shocked hearing it from me because I've ripped some AWs more than anybody on this mother. Guys, I may be a, t a small channel, but nobody's ripped AWs more than me. <laughs> Pointed out every one of their flaws, needled them, broken down their exact nature. I'm, now, I may not be the best at it, but I've done it the most. That's almost 100% for sure. 
But the more you dig into <laughs> the more you dig into it, the more you see. There's a lot of hypocrisy on both sides. So I'm not taking this, this you know, crimson capsule nonsense side completely. All right. There are certain things I agree with, but Lord have mercy. The only people that are really, really, really winning, obviously, overall, are passport kings. Going overseas, passport bros, going overseas. The ones that are actually going after traditional foreign women. And by the way, to all you knuckleheads who keep talking about, oh, they love you for your money. Are you an idiot? All relationships are transactional, dummy. I want her to love me for me. Oh, really? So you love her for her? If her you-know-what disappeared, if her nether regions, I'm being YouTube appropriate, if her lower body parts were gone, you'd still love her? You're so full of crap. I'm calling everybody out today. I even called myself out today. You guys are so full of crap, man. You need to start coming to reality. Freaking Western. Everybody in the West is delusional. Let's just say it. Oh, oh, poor Kaylee. <laughs> she hears me just shout. She looked back at me like, oh, poor little Kaylee. <laughs> oh, she was cute. I feel <laughs> She's a tall Kaylee. She just looks back. Jeez, man. It's because I'm so much. <laughs> oh. Kaylee, if I'll give you a hug, it's okay. I'm going to pat you on the head. Settle down. Brr, brr, brr. Damn, that guy's ripped. That guy's freaking ripped. Good lord. Anyway, the only people that really chase, that need to chase women, that need to source and do all this is for losers. 100%. How do I know? Because I was a loser before. He chased women for years. Online, in person, you name it, and I lost. That's how I know, guys. And you want to know why you chase? For all of you guys who keep chasing, who can't stop, it's because you hate yourself. That's what this really boils down to. Yes, I'm Mr. Therapy. I'm Mr. Action Therapy. Because if you really cared about yourself, if you really believed in yourself, you wouldn't be chasing nothing. You'd be living your dreams. That's what I do every day. I am so fortunate to live my mother effing dreams every day. To be fortunate enough to walk, be able to walk here and talk to you guys. I'm living my dream. To be fortunate enough to be out here, to have this little MILF checking me out. Uh, guys, you want to know? You want to know a real secret? This is a little bonus content for all of you. What is what really makes people happy in life? What is the building block for all happiness? What is the building block? What is the first, first piece to actually being happy in life? And why are traditional foreign women so happy? You want to know why, gentlemen? This is going to be, this is the most simple thing. And you're, it's going to click with a lot of you because you're going to go, wait a minute, now I get it. The reason why traditional foreign women are so happy, they have a building block that is missing from a lot of Americans, from a lot of people in the West. And it's as simple as this, gratitude, appreciation, gratitude, gratitude for everything. They expressed gratitude every mother effing day. And that's why they are so happy. I bet you guys didn't know that, now did you? Now what do I mean by gratitude? They're grateful to be alive. They're grateful for all the things that they have. They don't care about what they don't have. They're grateful for what they do have. That's what's missing. And that's why American women are so miserable. One of the many reasons. They just don't have the gratitude. This Kayleaf is coming back. She's curious. I'm curious about you. <laughs> she, <laughs> she was so cute. She, <laughs> guys, if you saw the faces they make at me, you laugh. Sometimes they're interested, sometimes they're not. I'm grateful for that little Kayleaf who rode by. You know what I mean? The gratitude. She had her little son, her little 
glasses on, looked like a nerd, and she smiled, did a little titter, and she kept riding her bike. Sometimes they're interested, sometimes they're not. I am grateful for all of this, gentlemen. How do you get to gratitude when you're losing in life? You need to take a good long look around you. And you need to say, hey, I did this to myself. No matter how bad or how good it is, you did it to yourself. That's the first stage. And then you need to start appreciating everything that you have and say it out loud. I appreciate this. Because guys, if you don't appreciate anything, you're never going to make progress in life. Never. You're always going to be looking to what is the next thing. Well, I got a BMW 3 Series. Now I needed BMW 5 Series. If you can't even appreciate your BMW 3 Series, you might as well call it a wrap. Because how are you going to be content with the 5 Series? You're not. You're going to want a 7 Series. These are the secrets to life. This is what keeps the people at the top and the people at the bottom. Is these simple, simple things. And when I meet my little tradition of four women, all the time, they're always so gra grateful. They are, I express so much gratitude all the effing time. Always grateful and bubbly and bouncy. I am so grateful that I met somebody like you. You are very sweet. Can I give you a kiss on your cheek? Yes, you can, Asian bubble nut. You can do it. You can do that. I'm cool with it. Should I get, I'm going to turn around. I'm tired of walking this way. I get a tan on my other arm. <sighs> I get tired of it, man. I get tired of hearing these freaking complainers. These freaking... And the other problem is... The other problem with all these dating co dating roaches and quote-unquote crimson capsule guys and all this nonsense, they're not listening to these guys' actual problems. The actual problems that they have... The real problems. Yeah, getting your money up is great. Okay, great. Now you've got, you've got problems on another level. You still haven't addressed all of your issues. You still think you deserve and have earned less than you're actually putting in. And that's why this will never be big in general. Because it's about reality. The reality is you get in what you put. You get out what you put in. If you put in a little bit of effort, guys, you're going to get a little bit of output. And the same goes for the ladies. Period. <laughs> the average girls that think they're going to get a trillionaire and a billionaire, they're going to get exactly what they put in, guys. Not much. I mean, you keep hearing them say, oh, I make $90,000 a month on OnlyFans. Guys, you think that really makes them happy? No, it doesn't. Do you think they're going to save all that money? No, they're not. You better get around this guy. Of course not. They're going to waste every dollar that they have. And not only that, you want to know what's really sad? It'll never replace the validation and the attention of just one man. Ouch. It never does. And that's why a lot of these ladies end up sad, lonely, with their cats, boxed wine. It's pathetic. You don't want to be them, gentlemen. You never will be them, but you get what I mean? You don't want to be delusional like them. So, listening to dating coaches and all these other knuckleheads is just that. Oh, she belongs to the street. She's a 304. But you know what? Not all women are that way. I was watching one of these guys. If she cheats, she's for the streets. What, what are you even... Are you for real, man? Are you this dense? <laughs> you guys really have no... Ex these guys have zero experience. That's what it boils down to. I just have way too much experience. It's, it's ridiculous, but I'm not going to come down too hard on you guys because mainly I get it. A lot of you have never been even met. What the hell? I shouldn't come to, I shouldn't, a lot of you guys have never met 
a virgin, a traditional born woman. You know what I mean? You've never actually been inundated. You've never been overwhelmed by a little traditional foreign woman who just want to get to know you, who want to fulfill their end of the bargain. A lot of you guys don't understand. You don't need to run any game on them. You don't need to get, you don't need to lie to them. You can just be your freaking self. I know this is very hard for you. A lot of you guys to understand but you can be a normal, nice guy and get way further with them. And they're not going anywhere. You know, it just sucks because in our country, we send so many of these freaking mis mixed, mess uh, mixed messages. It's frustrating. And these Crimson Capsule guys are not making it better. You know who you are. Don't act like you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> well, maybe, you know, maybe you should talk to her on the weekend and, and then, you know, send five texts here, and three texts there, but no more than 20 texts. You guys are full of crap. And I'm not going to speak. I'm not going to. The reason why I'm even going to let you guys know how AWs think is because I want you guys to avoid it and to understand what you're getting into, because if you guys do. Decide to date AWs, deal with all that. You're going to get what you deserve. Not a K leaf. She keeps going back and forth. <laughs> back and forth. <laughs> that little glass. She keeps. What's she doing? She's being cute. See, that was simping right there, right? You can call me out on it. It's fine. Jeez Louise. Ah. <sighs> Here's where I draw the line. I will look at them. I will say to hello to them and be cordial. Here's where I draw the line, okay? Guys, you can draw the line where you'd like to. Here's where I draw the line. I'm not approaching them, number one. Number two, I am not engaging in any of the debating with them, all right? Number three, I'm not dating them. Number four, I am not hooking up with them. I'm just not. I'm not doing it, guys. Not with AWs. And number five, I'm in monk mode right now. All right? That's just how it goes. If you guys choose to do any of those things that involve AWs, you are taking a risk. You are risking your freedom. Risking your sanity, your time, your energy, your attention, and your money. All rolled into one. And that's why, look, I know most guys are out. 60% of guys are just over it. 50% of guys aren't even uh, report themselves as single. 60% of guys are just out of the dating marketplace all entirely. And for good reason. But what I am getting at, guys, it's not all bad. could sing in the bathroom like that creep <laughs> it's not all bad you do not have to learn game you do not have to learn how to be high value you don't have to make seven eight twenty figures whatever all their stupid numbers only thing you need to do in life is to live your purpose men living their purpose you do that you're gonna be just fine because first of all you're going to be living your dreams, whether it's to be a preacher, whether it's to own a business, whether it's just to be a father. And number two, you're going to have a much more balanced life. It's going to be very attractive to a tiny TFW, a little panda fist Chinese with her little tiny panda fists, <laughs> a freaking Colombiana with her long, luscious, dark hair. Oh my lord. Jeez Louise. The last Colombiana I was seeing, oh my god, guys. <sighs> Breathtaking. I walked out, guys, I walked outside with her, and guys would just do this. Oh. <laughs> that guy right there. He's like, dude, this guy's a freak. <laughs> I am a freak. Guys would just stop. 
and just their mouths would drop. You know what I mean? It was hysterical. And then when I was out with all my little Asian nuggets, I, guys, I've been out with so many little Asian nuggets. And the American girls get so pissed. <laughs> they, get so mad. they get so mad. They just start fuming. Oh, man. And then they try to, <laughs> like when she leaves and goes to the bathroom, then they come up to you and start approaching. It's so funny. Oh, God, I love it. It just makes me laugh. And your little TFWs are going to be respectful. And no, guys, they aren't running. The guys, you're going to spend a good 10, 5, 10, 15, maybe 20 years on your purpose. I know it sounds like a long time and you don't want to do it, but I guarantee you, every year you put in, you're going to be getting 20 to 30 TFWs out of it as options. I don't think that's an exact number, but you get it. You're going to get so many options out of it, it's not even funny. You're going to get so many options. But you're not going to know what to do with yourself. In fact, you're going to be blown away at the amount of options that you have. For example, when I was in Macau, I went out with a tiny Chinese. Actually, she was, uh, what is it, uh... I think she was Cantonese? Cantonese. Anyway, she's very cute. She's very bubbly. And she was full of cuteness and full of cuteness. Anyway, she took me around. And she even said, she's like, all these girls are staring at you. She's like, you are very popular. <laughs> and guys, I was just wearing, I wasn't dressed up fancy. She knows. She's like, yes, foreigners are very attractive. But she was just, all she really wanted to be was just with one guy. It's crazy. They love age gaps. They like when you're a little older. They love it, guys. This is what you have to look forward to. Because they know they don't have the time to waste. They want to have children. They want to have families. Here's what's so crazy is their parents are still together normally. 30, 40, 50 years, whatever. Jeez, the beast, that kid is squealing. Do you think I had to chase women overseas? No. Even wear my silly sun hat. <laughs> you think I need to chase? Guys, you don't need to chase an effing thing. They're going to come up to you. Here's what you guys don't understand. They are going to approach you. They are going to give you such obvious choosing signals that even the guy with the lowest testosterone levels is, is probably going to approach. <laughs> you guys are probably, you don't have to chase them. That's the crazy part. It's insane. I, for example, I was on a hydro, uh, hydrofoil, one of those uh, jet boats. It's like lifts off the ground and it's going like 200 miles an hour. It's, it's so fast. And this little, little sweet nugget was sat right next to me. And of course, guys, they're, they're very polite. They're very easy to interact with. They're not disrespectful. I said, I said, hello. And she took out her little AirPods and she said, oh, hello. It is a pleasure to meet you. Guys, they're so nice. Yeah. You need game? No, you don't. Oh, where are you from? You, you're so... You're such a nice person. Uh, they, they guys, they're just, they just gush over you. It's crazy. You don't have to be white. I, guys, there were so many Indian guys, dark-skinned Indian guys, when I went overseas, that were the, with happy little Asian nuggets everywhere. You know, chasing is for losers. I'm not chasing nothing. Okay. There'll be exception to that rule, right? Let's talk about the exceptions. Let's say there's an LA-8-9. Am I going to chase her? No. I'm not going to chase her, guys. If she gives me an opening, maybe I'll say hello if I'm close enough. <laughs> but I'm not chasing nothing. And you guys can call it entitlement. You can tell... 
you know, these little cables. Oh. We're playing volleyball. It's fun. We hit the ball. <laughs> so, you know what's so funny? They're like little gremlins. They really are. Like little gremlins. They, 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 they scurry around. Guys, I was literally walking down this path yesterday, and these K-leafs snuck up behind me because they wanted to subscribe. You know what I'm saying? It was crazy. I was like, what the hell? Snuck up on me. <laughs> Chase me down. I've been chased down so many times doing these streams. Anyway, did I have to chase her? No, I didn't. They chased me, son. Oh, you're so angry. I can't do that. How come, how come all, how come the guys, how come the guys that are the biggest losers always give me the most excuses? Because that's all you have to lean back on, son. That's all you have to fall back on is your victimhood mentality. You are acting like a, oh, I don't want to shout around these people. You are a victim. You're playing the victim just like the women do. Now this lingling is staring at me. Ah, I don't have to shout. Why do I always get so upset? <laughs> she started. Well, it's enter I know it's I know it's entertaining for you guys, number one. But honestly, I'm never really not that much of an attention whore. I'm not trying to make a spectacle out of myself in front of all these people. But for real, dude, you guys playing the victim really make me makes me upset. Because all you're doing is the exact same thing the women are doing. And then you want to complain. You're the biggest effing hypocrites, man. All right, I think I'm better. Just freaking, just get so, I get, I get worked up, man. I get mad. Not listen to this nonsense. Now, if you have a situation, you've been through some stuff, you got stuff that bothers you, all right, fine, fair enough. All right, don't harass these K-leaves. Don't harass them, all right? These little K-leaves, just let them, let them giggle, let them, let them sit. And wiggle around in the sand. Lots of cables. What the hell? I'm a little better now. I'm a little better. Dude, there's a guy with a speedboat out there. I've done water skiing before with my buddy's speedboat. Dude, that's guys, it's hard. You know, especially single legs uh, water skiing. Did I say snowboard? Water skiing. Oh my lord. Yeah, I get, I get, I just get, just get so tired of these sons. Of, if you guys, if you're going to tell a story about some situation you've been through, okay, fair enough. That's perfectly fine. Look, my ex-wife took me to the cleaners. I got my ass handed to me. Okay, great. Why did you get with this bee? I thought I loved her. Okay, let's get some action therapy going. Are you going to sit there all effing day and feel sorry for yourself? Or are you going to start talking about what you did wrong? Look, I got married too young. Okay, that's good. I chose a B. Why did you choose a B? I chose a B because I hated myself. <sighs> all right. I need to stay at the beach right now because I'm starting to get upset again. I chose a B because it was my because I thought that's all I deserved. All right, now we're getting somewhere, son. What are how why do you, why did you think you deserved a B? Okay, I did because I had low self esteem. Now we're getting somewhere, son. So what are you gonna do next time? Well, I still think I deserve B's. Yeah, that's your problem. We got to fix that, son, because you're going to keep doing the same crap over. It's like the women that say that they were with the A, B, user. That's her fault. Oh, sip. No, son. All right, I'm going to go back up. I'm calming down now again. <laughs> I got to go to the beach when I'm starting to lose my, lose my cool. She chose that guy, and she did it for a reason, which many of them say they do, and then they try to absolve themselves. 
You're doing the exact same thing if you don't take some accountability. Here's the best part about that. You're going to do a lot better next time, son. Why do I keep choosing people like this? It's your problem, sister. A.W. It's time to start figuring out why you're doing it. You see what I mean? And then, now we can fix it. Now we can start doing things that are going to make you succeed. You're going to start stacking up wins instead of losses. <sighs> Man, I just get bent out of shape. In fact, guys do not talk enough about what they've been through for fear of retribution. Guys, if you tell me what you've been through, I'm never going to tell you suck it up. That is bull. On this channel, we dig deeper, gentlemen. On this channel, when we lose, we figure out why we lost, and then we implement a solution. All right? I'm going to calm down now. I'll take a deep breath. Jeez Louise, my blood pressure. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take a deep breath. Suck it up, bro. Oh, that's your fault. Oh man, I got a beautiful woman. I got a great woman, so it's your fault. You are the biggest piece of any of you sons SOBs who deflect and say, Oh, well, not my girl. You're just doing it wrong. You are you oh, you are really you are the biggest, you're going to, you're the biggest piece of crap on the planet. You are one of these mother effers who says that, hey, it's perfectly okay that the, the world is burning around me. And then when you get stung because of your arrogance, you love coming back. Oh man, my girl. Oh my game of a game was a type, bro. She took me to the cleaners, bro. What do I do now? You mother effers really make me mad because you have no effing backbone, number one. And you ignore everything just because you want to believe a fantasy just like the AWs. You're just as bad, if not worse. Oh, you're getting it today, son. Freaking game guy. Game, again, the game guys are always the dudes with the fattest women, the most fugly. They want to brag and tell you how they, you know, they never lose in life. What, what, is, what is up with this? On this channel, we admit when we're losing. The reason why we're not losers is because we own our losses. Do you understand? Winners own their losses. Losers deflect when they lose. That's what makes you a loser. This little Kayleaf right here, she looks like a winner. She looks like she's about to start sprinting. <laughs> she's giggling and making a bunch of noises. Winning means taking accountability for what you've done, son. It means you're going to take some losses. That's why I've won so many times in my life. Because I take the loss and I say, you know what? I effed up. It was my fault. <laughs> Unbelievable. Un-effing believable. And this is why you're losing, Mr. Game Guy. Mr. I chase women. Mr. I don't need no therapy. I don't need no therapy. I'm fake ghetto. You're a fake mother effer. And you get exactly what you deserve, son. A bunch of STDs, a bunch of headaches, and a fat 400-pound girlfriend. You ever notice the game guys never have fine women? For all their bragging and uh, blustering and boasting. And I'm not saying I've had only fine women. I've had very hideous. But look, if you're going to be a game guy, wouldn't you want to show off? All your nines and tens that you kick to the curb. You're so full of crap. One of these 
one of these dating coaches, he showed off. He's like, oh, this is a nine. And I'm like, uh, yeah. A bunch of his subscribers were like, nah, man. No, that's, that's not a nine, sir. They weren't trying to troll him. It really was true. She was fat. I, oh, God have mercy. Lord have mercy on my soul. <laughs> just, I'm just not in the mood today. I'm in one of those moods, guys. I don't feel like messing around with these idiots. You know? Oh, Lord have mercy. So, it's unfortunate. My favorite. Lord have mercy. That's my type. The one on the right? Well, she's definitely my type. The other one's too chunky for me. <laughs> they were giggling and eating kimchi all at the same time. Oh, Lord have mercy. That's my type. She had little abs and everything. <laughs> they always have this. <laughs> oh, little linglings. Smiling, bubbling, bouncing. They try. A lot of times they try not to skip. Oh, there's a butterfly. Hey, butterfly. Dude, what the hell are you doing, son? <laughs> butterfly was getting in my face. All right, game guys. I think you've had enough for today. You want a little bit more? You want me to punch you right in the, your, your vagina? Your little box, son? <laughs> I'll let you be. Donkey, punch the like button. Finger the subscribe button on the way out. Comment in the comment section. Share this mother effing video. Become a Legionnaire level one. Support the content. Become the content you consume. Tell these dating roaches and fake alphas and all these idiots to kick rocks. Because we're going to get back to reality. That is what this channel is about. Getting back to reality. The real world. Whether you like it or not. <sighs> Until next time, gentlemen. I'm definitely watching you. So let's get to it. <laughs>